Yeah, 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 real McCoy TV, baby. Headliner tonight, Fonz versus Charlie Clips. I wish I could say it was a banger, but we're going to get into that a little bit later. First, we're going to give a rundown of all the battles that I saw yesterday. First and foremost, I like to say that uh, it was a lot going into me going to this event. Originally, I was going to support uh, Meatris, Lady Meatris against Dado. Thought that was going to be a fire battle. I thought that the girl maybe could compete with me. I just kind of biased. I went to high school with her, and I think she fired. She definitely in my top three. After 40 bars, and I just like Shayna Ashley. I like how Shayna Ashley be spitting. But I think me could be either one of them. I think me could be either one of them. Uh, I went for the stage passes. As you can see, wife is like, is you going to take that off? I said, man, I ain't spent 120 on a ticket. In like 10 years, I'm going to wear this till it start getting finicky, and then I'm going to pop it off. But great event. Great event. Ran into a lot of people that I know at this event. Wouldn't expect, didn't know. I was hoping to see my boy Mout from Longwood in there. He didn't make it. Longwood was showing up, Ruga. Ruga the Barbarian, you did your thing. You did your thing. I was, you, you made a fan. You definitely made a fan that night. Also, special shout out to Cranium, Lonnie Burton legend, running back, Cranium. I saw Cranium. Y'all got the chill and talk to him. I ain't seen him in forever. He didn't remember who I was. That didn't really matter. He's like three years old. He's about the year before the current councilman, Richard Starr. He was on the team a year before that. So I think he got me like four or five years. But either way, when I was little, he was in Pee Wee doing <clears throat> things that I would eventually be doing. Like he was a first-hand inspiration. Also ran into a relative of mine, a cousin of mine through marriage, Red, uh, my mother, not my mother-in-law, my stepmom's little cousin, Red, saw him. Man, ain't seen this man in probably like 12 years. We saw each other a couple times. Then I finally said, yo, so you gonna act like you don't know him, nigga? You gonna act like you don't? He said, I thought that was you, DJ. You know what I'm saying? I said, yeah, man. So we chopped it up for <clears throat> Easily 35, 40 minutes. Um, I know his wife, he wasn't expecting that. He was, he was weird. We was in there uh, just chopping it up, catching up, talking about life. Mostly talking about being dads. That's what dudes do ultimately when we get together, see somebody in a long time. How's the family? You got kids. How are you doing that? How are you handling parenting? As black men, we were very concerned, but not really concerned. But like, are you parenting out here? You know, we wouldn't parent it. Are you parenting out here? Are you helping your kids? Succeed by parenting out here. Now, I pulled out the handy dandy notebook to make sure that I go over all of the battle, battles that I saw because I did see all of the battles that happened that night. Special shout out to Rosenberg Raw. Got to chill with him on the stage during the um, West Side Black Battle. <clears throat> and uh, it was cool to see Froze and his brother because I've seen him on the, on the clips in the YouTube. Uh, how they doing and how they moving. Real cool dude. Real cool dude. Um, definitely a lot rounder than I thought, but real cool dude. Clips was super round, too. They was some fat balls, but the fat bars was going in the building all night. Fat bars was going in the building all night, but um, had great interactions with him. Um, didn't get to really talk to Emerson Kennedy much. Um, Fonz, uh, we had a a moment or two where we was near each other. We observed the fight, like, right after the knockout. He was playing play security, uh, <laughs> telling people to shush, but he was interested in the fight, too. That was cool to see. Um, super shout out to Fonz. My overall observation of the event, I'm sure he was super affiliated with the event because he was headlining and all that, but Fonz, I really saw him taking care of the people a part of the event. This is probably something you ain't going to get from most other people, but this is what I observed because this is what I noticed. Like, I mean, it was getting hot in there. I think they was running out of bottled waters. I literally saw Fonz with the cups, full cups, you know what I'm saying? Walking around, getting people water, getting people hydrated for a, not one time. Like, he was doing, he was making his business to get people's needs met in there to make them comfortable. That was really, really cool to see. That showed me that he's very vested in his position in battle rap. And I like to say he has a strong position. I'm rooting for you, Fonz. I hope you actually ultimately become the king of the Midwest, especially once the 
Calico's go and the and the verbs and them really like I see Fonz as you got that and the camp under him rock with him. I I had a really really good time at this cabin fever camp out experience man we ain't, all right I'm about to start talking about the battle all right so we got gold chain versus ease um. In the building, I had Ease winning that. Um, I think he had maybe two more of them. Mm, two more of them than than Gold Chain, but Gold Chain finished. He had a he had a good um, <clears throat> he had a good showing. Um, I thought this dude's name was Knowledge. The other battle rapper let me know that it was Nolo. No, Nolo G. Yeah, so no low G versus Way. I actually got Way in that one. Way had a couple more. Mm, let's keep in mind, I'm on the stage. I'm right behind all of them. You probably can't see me because I'm short, but I'm like to the left of where everybody battling. The battlers on the when the dudes say to my right, I was on that side <clears throat> the whole time. I definitely wasn't happy about standing for that long. You got to let us know when they actually battle it. I'm coming in from out of town, so I showed up at 5. I wish I knew y'all weren't going to start battling to 8.30ish, 9, because then I could have got there then and wouldn't have been on my feet for that long. And I think I would have I would have missed some of those moments, though. I would have missed some of those moments I had with some of them people. But for the overall, what I went there for, it would have been better if I knew when exactly y'all was battling. Um, Ruga the Barbarian versus Peze. Gotta go with Ruga down the way. Stand up. No offense to uh pays it. Yeah, whatever. Um Westside Black versus Loyal Savage. This was the body of the night. Westside Black made the night for me tonight. Uh like I said, I got there early. It was fun to see him run walk around, strutting around, like with just with all the confidence in the world. And this is no offense or no not, no knock. This dude reminds me of clean paper, just in terms of like, he just got it. Me and, uh, and I'm sorry, froze. I, I don't know how y'all go with talking about rap, but I saw him say, like right in front of me when he shook his hand and said, yo, you got that shit, bro. Like you like, yeah. Like, so, but yeah, we was in the back and like, he didn't even get two bars off. He was, he just. Shout out to Westside. <laughs> Shout out to Westside, man. Westside Black. He had the body of the night. Gamble versus Mill Ticket. I think um, Gamble had crazy good flow. I don't remember who won that one in the building. I want to say Gamble. I think Gamble was more home team. Um, Kev Bless versus Sneezy Bo. I don't think they went. They might have, but I don't think they went. Big Hunted versus Zeke. Um, Big Hunted was in there walking around a lot. He was happy to be there. Um, I, he had a stumble, and Zeke was cool. Um, I'm going to get out on a toss up. I'm going to get out on a toss up. The, uh, the guy, Yogi, and HNH Zeke, I don't think they, I don't, I don't know if I stepped out. Miatra's battle was canceled. Foots versus KJ2 Real. I believe Foots Smack Dude. Didn't watch the Emerson battle. I was back outside talking to people. I think that's when I was actually talking to Cranium out there. Didn't see the Coffee Brown and Flawless. Um, the Rosenberg Raw versus Marino. I'm biased. When we Raw, I like how he rap a little better. But Marino, I think actually... Because he went second, I think he actually won in the building. He might have had one or two more mmms. But Rosenberg had mmm mmm the whole battle. But Don Marino, I, he he shouldn't have, you shouldn't have said that Don Marino was a, a warm up battle. He didn't like that. It's a good battle. Uh, T Top versus Dice, top one. Um, T Top, I've been rechecking out a lot of his stuff. He. He puts together great battles, whatever it is. Like, he puts together a great battle. He was cool. Um, didn't get to really chop it up with him much. Then Clips versus Fonz. 
I'm happy we got all this in within uh, 12 minutes. But Clips versus Fonz, I was highly disappointed. The reason why I still went to this battle, despite Meatris not getting there, the reason why I still bought VIP stage passes, you know what I'm saying? They're doing my thing. I was the first one in there who floor 20 the spot. If y'all was in there, then y'all know. Like everybody else was in there looking around, asking questions. I said, y'all in my hometown. It's 420. Then I said, to make y'all feel comfortable, y'all want me to go ask questions? It's like, yeah. I say, man. I say, yo, I gotta go outside to do this. Told the security. He's like, yeah. And then the other was like, nah, you good? And I was like, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So I officially, unofficially sparked that first thing in there. Like for real. Like that's no cap. I just thought it was um it was time. I let like an hour or two go past. So I think the first one of them thing, I let it go like 6:30. Six by six thirty, it was gone. People weren't even really showing up, and they knew that people wouldn't showing up till later. I'm still the whole time waiting for my fam and stuff to show up. Side note, and this for all the family people who out here chasing dreams and stuff, who got a down woman. Wifey did not want me to go unless I had a battle buddy. She wanted me to. I don't know, female. I don't need nobody to hold me down while I go to the bath. But no. Uh, I'll rest the shorter that um and I more than likely will be attending more camp out events. Like I had a great time. I had a really good time. And if it's gonna be more of that, then I wouldn't mind hearing them ball. I like when people I like art. And this particular art is the art that I like. Wifey like musicals, which I think that stuff is worse than any gangster rap with the subject matter and the stuff and the trauma that be happening to people. But I like battle rap. I like observing. I like that no one came with me. I like my best friend flaked. I like my cousins and them flaked. I like everybody flaked on me. And then I got to just go experience an event because I don't need y'all. But I was trying to have y'all have fun with me. But no, when I have fun, Dolo did get to see Lady Me Actress did not get the interview done. Uh, I think right after the battles went, everybody scattered, and it was late, and I wanted to get back home, all, so I had to hit the road. I got right back on that freeway, like right after the battles on the road at 2 a.m. <clears throat> In that white thing, you already know how I be rolling, but great event, great time. I'm looking forward to the next one. Y'all keep me posted. If I miss one, call me out. Um, Yo, like, share, and subscribe. Hit me with the area code. Let me know your hood. Tag in your zip code. Uh, the, uh, the elementary school you still repping. All that great time. See y'all at the next one. Cabin Fever was a success. Great time. And the fight was going on, too. That was a great experience to be able to dip over and see bulls catching the up. Y'all saw that? I saw that. I saw that. All right, y'all.